Welcome to creating and debugging Linux applications using SourceWid Codebench for ARM GNU Linux. This tutorial gives an example of using Codebench to create and debug an application that will run on a target that is running Linux. Our target is a Panda board that has two ARM Cortex A9 cores. The first thing we will do is set up the target environment. Next, we will use Codebench to create and build applications to run on the target. Then we will use Codebench to download the application to the target and debug it. In order to download applications to a target and debug them over the network on a target that is running Linux, you must boot Linux on the target and assign an IP address to the network interface. For this example, we downloaded and installed the Mentor Embedded Linux kit for PandaBoard and followed the instructions in the Getting Started Guide to boot our board. To reproduce this environment, go to www.mentor.com slash embedded software slash download slash Linux kits and download the PandaBoard Linux kit. Then follow the instructions in the PandaBoard installation and quick start guide. From the website, first select the PandaBoard Linux kit and download it. Then download the PandaBoard installation and quick start guide and follow the instructions in that to format your SD card and boot your board. At this point, you should be connected to a booted PandaBoard and be looking at a login prompt. Login with the username of root and no password. And now we need to identify the IP address of our target. If this is the first time you've booted the board, you will need to assign an IP address to the network interface, which is USB 1. Using ifconfig USB 1, and we will set the address to 192.168.0111. To verify the network configuration is applied, type ifconfig. Now the Panda board is ready for us to download applications to it and debug them from a Codebench instance that is running on our host. However, before we do that, we need to create an application. To create a new application using Codebench, first you create a new project, then you add source code to your project. You need to define project properties such as library paths, include file paths, compiler options, and other options. Then you'll build the project, check for compiler errors, if there are any, fix them, and rebuild. But before we do any of that, we need to start Sorcery Codebench. You can invoke the Sorcery Codebench IDE from the command line. As it starts, you'll be prompted to create a workspace for your projects. And then it opens to the welcome screen. Close the welcome screen to view the C++ perspective where we will create an application. The first step to creating an application is creating a new project. To create a new project, select File, New, C Project. This opens the C Project Wizard. Give your project a name. And for our example, we're going to populate our project with a factorial C sample code and select your tool chain. Then select Next and enter information about your target environment, such as the processor, the endianness, the libraries that are on the target. For our example, all we're going to do is set our processor to the Cortex a9. Then we will click Finish to create the project. The new project displays in the Project Explorer. Expand the project folder to view its contents. Also expand source to view the source files that are part of the project. To configure compiler options, library paths, include file paths, right-click on the project and select Properties. This opens the Properties window for your project. Expand C, C++ build and select Settings. The Tools Settings tab displays and the Target options display on the screen. You can change things like processor, endianness, uh, your, the sys, where your sysroot is located on your target from here. Select Sorcery Codebench C Compiler to modify compiler options. Select Includes to specify paths to include files and other options. Click the plus symbol to add paths to include files. 
select libraries to add library search paths and linked libraries to the project. Click OK to apply your changes and close the properties dialog box. To compile your code, right click the project and select build project. This builds the code and if any errors occur, displays them in the problems window. Since our project was configured properly, we do not have any errors. Now we are ready to download our application to the Panda board and debug it. Before we can debug, we need to configure our debugger settings. Select Run Debug Configurations. This opens the Debug Configurations dialog box. You're going to want to select the Source Free Code Bench Debug option and double click to create a new debug configuration for your project. If the project was selected in the Project Explorer when you opened this dialog box, the C, C++ application and project name are filled in for you automatically. Select Copy and Launch Application on Remote System to have CodeBench automatically copy your application to the target using SSH and launch it when you start your debug session. Click New to configure a new SSH connection to the target. In the host name field, enter the IP address for the target. You can modify the connection name so that it's set to something that is unique for your target, such as PandaBoard. Give the connection a description and click Finish. In our example, we click Cancel because this connection has already been created. Make sure your connection is selected. Next, click the Debugger tab. On the Debugger tab, set the debug interface to Source Free Code Bench External Server. Then, in the Connection tab, make sure the connection type is set to TCP. Then, enter the IP address of the target in the Hostname or IP address field and verify that the remote GDB server path is set to the location of GDB server on the target. Now we are ready to debug. Click debug to download the application to the target and kick off a new debug session. This builds the project. Then it copies it over to the target. And finally, it opens the debug perspective. Note that the debug session is halted when you enter main. If you go over to the outline view, you can select different functions and it will navigate through your code. You can select variables and change the value of variables. You can set breakpoints in your source code. And you can run your code to the next breakpoint. If you expand the console, you can see any sort of output or messages display down there. So we see factorial 0 equals 1 print down there. And you can go up to the right, select registers, see the value of your registers. And use the debugger control to continue running through your code. In summary, in order to create and debug applications for a target that is running Linux, you need to set up the target such that it is running Linux and you can communicate with it from the host. Then, from CodeBench, you need to create a new project, add source code to your project, define project properties such as compiler options and library and include file paths, build the project, check for compiler errors, if there are any, fix them and rebuild as needed, then create a debug launch configuration for your project and download your application to the target and debug it.